Okay, hi, it's uh, five o'clock on Tuesday the 19th of May. Um, I'm Roderick Lees and we'll just uh, come back and have a wee go at this uh, paper. That's the SQA National 5 Mathematics paper for this year. So I'd uh, just like to go through it with you and hopefully you all managed it fine. Okay, here's paper one, question one. Evaluate, work out, 605th, take away 2 and a third. Okay. Obviously, various ways to do this. I tend to put them into uh, improper fractions. 5 sixes are 30 and 1, 31 over 5. Take away 3 twos are 6 and 1, 7 uh, thirds. Uh, make them both 15s. 3 fives, 15. 3 31s, 93. Take away 5 sevens are 35. 5 threes, 15. 93 take 35. I'm sure you could do that in your head. 58 over 15. Uh, 3 15s are 45 with a remainder of 13 to make it 58. So it's 3 and 13 fifteenths. Moving on to question 2. Solve algebraically the inequality. Okay, so there you have it there. I've written it uh, a little bit bigger here for you. Sorry for the smudge there. Uh, so let's just multiply through. Uh, obviously you don't do 11 take 2 uh, to give 9 because a uh, blood mass says you have to multiply this out first. So it's 11 take away 2 lots of 1, 2. Take away 2 lots of plus 3x. Take away 6x. Less than 39. 11 take 2 gives the 9. Uh, and what I've just decided to cut a few bits of one stone, that 39 has come over to become minus 39. Minus 6x over 2 becomes 6x. 9 take 39 minus 30, uh, 6x there. And uh, dividing both sides by 6 means that you don't change the direction of that. Minus 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 is less than x would be your final answer. Okay, on to number 3. Very quickly, and again, apologies for all this. Okay, uh, here we have a, quite a small circle, to be honest, and you have a, a C is a tangent, and that means that O to B is 90 degrees, centre of circle, tangent, 90 degrees. Uh, therefore, if that's 77, that's 13. Okay, and over on the other side of this diameter, we have a right angle, you have a diameter there to there, that means that that's a right angle in this case. Okay. Right, so I said that was 13, with this being an isosceles triangle, there's a radius, there's a radius, that's 13 as well. A bit difficult for me um, to write it in there, so I've just done a wee arrow there. And over here, 26, why is that 26? Because you've got 64, you've got 90, and 26 make 180. The question was, calculate the size of B to D to F. Now let's see where that is. B, D, F. That's uh, obviously these two angles added together. The 13 and the 26 gives you 39 degrees. Okay, question four. Now we've done uh, a few of these uh, in the past, so hopefully uh, you did this one fine. The x drops down, times x squared plus x take 2, take 4 over there, times x squared plus x take 2. x times x squared, x cubed, plus x times x, x squared, take 2x, there we have it there. And uh, the other side of it, take 4x squared, take 4 times plus x, is take 4x, and take 4 times take 2 is plus 8. A wee bit of tidying up to do. x cubed, nothing else involving x cubed, so that's just written. A plus x squared, take away 4x squared, take away 3x squared. Take 2x, take 4x, take 6x, and you have the term independent of x, or the number, as we call it, plus 8 at the end. On to question 5. Okay. Uh, the standard deviation of the numbers 1, 2, 2, 2 and 8 is equal to root a, root something, uh, and you have to work out the value of a. Okay, right, uh, we're going to use that standard deviation formula from the formula sheet. 
So here we go. The first thing you have to do, as you know, is to get the mean. 1 add 2 add 2 add 2 add 8 gives you 15. Divide by 5 gives 3. And here we have the x numbers. These are the 1, 2, 2, 2, 8. And over here, each number take away the mean squared. Uh, 1 take 3 minus 2 squared, you get 4. 2 take 3 minus 1 squared, you get 1. There we have it down there. 8 take 3 is 5 squared, you get 25. Add these up, you get 32. So moving over to this side, uh, that is the sum of x take x squared uh, in a bracket. Uh, x take the mean squared, pardon me. Uh, that's your 32. There's five numbers. Uh, take away one, that gives four. Root 32 over four, four eighths give 32. So it's root eight, so a is eight. Question 6 appears to me to be just basically a identify the equation of the curve. Uh, they tell you it's a sine curve, uh, a sine bx. Right. Well, a is half the height, if you like, of the curve. 4 to minus 4 is a gap of 8. Half it, you get 4. So it's 4 sine. The b is how many sine curves you get between 0 and 360. That's a quick way of getting B, so let's do a little count here. Up, down, 1, 2, and 3. So B is 3. So the equation of that curve is 4 sine 3x. That makes A 4 and B 3. Let's move on to question 7. Again, we seem to have done a few of these in the practices, if you were with me when we did these. Question 7. The graph shows part of the parabola with the equation of the form, and they have it there, x plus a squared plus b. Um, the turning point is 2 minus 4. That means that the equation of the graph is x take 2. It's the opposite of that x value goes there. x take 2 squared and this number here, the take 4, just goes there. So that's x take 2 squared, take 4. OK, so that makes a equal to minus 2 and b equal to minus 4. OK, uh, you might see I've already drawn in the axis of symmetry. That's the dotted line, the broken line there. Going through the x number 2, any vertical line going through x value of 2 is the line x equals 2. And on to number 8. OK, number 8 is, just flatten it for you, um, let's get the equation of a line. A line goes through minus 2, 5 and 3, 15. So um, let's get the gradient first. Uh, the equation of the line y equals mx plus c we're going to get M and C, and that's how I've got it, OK? Uh, OK, 15 take 5 is 10. 3 take minus 2 is 5. 10 over 5 is 2. So if you choose to do the, the Y equals MX plus C route, you have Y equals 2X plus C, with M being 2. Um, you can choose either of these to be your X, Y. Uh, components, uh, there's an x-coordinate, there's a y-coordinate, we can plug them in here. y, 15, is 2 times x, 2 threes are 6. Add what gives 15? Uh, 9, of course. So y equals 2x plus 9 is the equation of that.